Hey guys, Todd Helms with Wingman out here today with my friend Chris Holworth, and we are going to talk to you about why you need to be shooting skeet in the off season so you can be a better wing shooter, specifically on waterfowl come fall. Nice shot. Nice shot. We both feel very strongly that it's probably the best game for sharpening those waterfowl skills. Yeah, and, and I really believe in that. I mean, with the different angles that are presented uh, and some of the basic tendencies or, or habits that you should have uh, at shooting different stations, where you start your gun and how your swing is, um, I, I think it's probably one of the best uh, ways to practice for waterfowl, especially the way we hunt around here. Right. Most of my duck hunting <coughs> around here is on a river that's 20 to 25, you know, yards across. Sometimes the shots are slow coming in with their wing set. There's a lot of shots that are right down low on the nice river shot. that are very Bet fast, especially when at the beginning of the season when we get a lot of teal around. And some of the same principles we use here in, in skeet, whether it's a sustained lead or a passing lead, you can easily uh, use or adapt to shooting teal on the river early in the season. Right, exactly. And so these, these, all these different angles, these low screamers, mm -hmm. they're important. You got to be practicing them. And hey, I just wanted to give you a heads up on this. We're at a public facility here. So if you hear some banging going on, there's a bunch of guys over at the rifle range cranking on steel this morning. So. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to go station by station and kind of break down what each station is going to simulate in the field. So the next time you go out and you think you're shooting skeet, there's, you got to know there's a specific game called skeet. It's not just the little round discs that are called skeet. Those are actually called? Clay pigeons. Clay pigeons, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. We hear that all the time. And just want to clear that up. And if you're not shooting skeet in the summertime, you need to be. Because of the history in America of skeet and trap, almost everybody's got a skeet or trap field within minutes of their house. It's not terribly expensive. Usually, what, 5 to $7 for a round? Yes. And you then know? You, you, your shells on top of that. But yeah. yeah, still, when you start thinking about prices you're paying to go skiing or other things. Oh, yeah. Well, and I think, like, the Federal Top Guns, I think you can buy these for five to six bucks a box yes somewhere it, in it, there yeah ten to fifteen dollars for two rounds of skeet on a saturday and you do that a couple times a month guess what by the time season comes around you're going to be ready. putting a lot more yeah. birds in the on the water yeah and once you've done it a couple times it gets addictive yeah, you, it gets you, in you your blood do doesn't it, it? <laughs> well what do you say we uh, pull some birds and put that benelli through the paces hey sounds good to me All right, let me grab the puller and let's do this a skeet field is laid out like half of a clock, right? Mm -hmm. And station two, station three, four, five, six, seven over is over at the low house, and eight is right in the middle. The birds are going to come right over our heads. So we're going to work our way around this. So we are on station one at the high house. On a skeet field, you have a high house and a low house. It's exactly what it sounds like. One one thrower is higher than the other so you get bird coming out high and a bird coming out low in this scenario you're going to have chris is going to have a bird coming out right over his head and he's going to have a bird coming at him from the low house in this scenario what bird are you going to shoot first if we're shooting doubles if we're shooting we're gonna doubles pull, we're going to pull singles and then i'll pull a double what okay. bird are you going to shoot first on the double and why? going to shoot the high house first um, because if you shoot the low house first on the double, the high house is going to be so far away. Your pattern's going to probably open up so much that even if you're on the bird, you might have a hole in your pattern sure. and miss the bird even though you're on it. Right. right. Um, but now I'm going to shoot the high house first. There's basically, you know, you can micro dissect it more, but basically there's three types of leads. There's a spot shooting there's a passing lead and there's a sustain lead. Um, and usually spot shooting doesn't work well. But on this bird, on the um, high house bird going away, you could argue that this is a spot shot. 
okay? Mm -hmm. But the bird's gonna be going away. To be able to be in front of it for your lead, you actually have to shoot below it. Right. And they say, most of the, the skeet shooting experts say, don't measure. But to get close, I'm gonna measure for the first right, time, okay? Right, right, right. All right, so as the bird's going away, I'm gonna shoot about six to 10 inches below it, okay? And then the bird coming across on the low house, I'm gonna shoot about a foot in front of it. Right. And on the high house going away, um, I'm basically spot shooting. Right. Uh, on the low so when house. It gets to a spot, a predetermined spot, you're pulling the trigger. I am, and yep. it's right exactly. over the stake. So in, in the field, obviously the bird coming at you is going to be, would be an example of a, maybe a teal streaking into your decoys. Right. The bird that's going away. Is one that you missed, that got past you, that you didn't see until it was past you. Right, yes, exactly. And if you shoot at that bird, you miss it. You yes. got it. You got to shoot below it to be able to get in front of it. If well, it's let's, directly in line. Let's see it. All right. Give you a high house first. Okay. Pull. <laughs> okay, and I missed it. So how'd you? Why'd you miss that bird? I was too far below it. Too far. Too far below it. Okay. All right. What? You're also shooting a brand new gun today. Yeah, and it swings you're not, different. That you're not used to. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So low house coming across. I'm going to lead this bird about a foot. Okay. All right. So pull. Somewhat another principle, and I, if you agree with this, but as you're starting your leads at almost every station and also on ducks, start at the lower bird. Um, because if you start at an upper bird, you're, you're going to block the rest of the birds out with your barrel. And just yep. like this too, on your swing birds, you don't want to start with your bird, I mean your, your barrel above the line, the trajectory of the bird. Sure. You don't want to have to come down. It's easier to come up and it's I was easier just to gonna, see. I was just going to say that. I don't mean to interrupt you, but that's a great point. I think in my experience, it's a lot easier for me to shoot at a lower bird and then work my way up. Yes. In actual shooting. As we work our way around, we're going to see it differently. So, yeah. You want to try the double? Sure. Pull. Woo! But smoke. Yeah. I love it. The, My turn. Uh, Let me try that. Yeah, go for it. The that Pinelli 828. Oh, man. I shot some pheasants with it and carried it around in the pheasant fields. It's just a gem. Yes. It's I can see gem, why. So, yep. Let's... Uh, what do you want to start with? Let's start with the high house. Okay. Pull. Pull. See, I wasn't far enough out in front of that bird. Let's try that double. Okay. Pull. Okay. <laughs> so we're moving to station two then? Let's, let's move to All station right. two. This is station two. And you get the same thing. You get a high house bird, a low house bird, and then a double. Each time you take a step on these middle stations, you're getting further from the bird. So your lead's increase. Your lead is increasing. It's no different than, say, set up on the river and having birds come in, work, and pulling out. Or you're taking a shot at a bird that's cruising by. On the other side of the river. On the other, versus, a little yeah. further than the yeah. ones that are right in your face. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, I'm getting older. My reactions are a little bit slower. But on the high house bird, I'm going to use a passing lead. Okay. Okay. Because frankly, the bird gets out quicker than I do. So you're going to swing so through gonna, that bird from behind. Yes. I'm going to have to catch up to it. I'm going to pass it about a foot, and I'm going to shoot. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see it. Pull. Pull. Nicely done. Um, Nicely done. Yeah, and I, I tend to shoot left to right better than I do right to left. Sure. If I'm going to have say a that bad again. day. Left to right better? I shoot left to right better usually. You know what my theory is on that? Huh. You're a right-handed shooter, so you're pushing your face into the gun. Yeah, yeah. And I want to pull off. You want to pull off if and I, look going the other way. On doubles again on this one now, we're going to shoot the high house first. 
okay? When you swing back, it's still about a two foot lead. If you're slow like I am on the second bird and you don't shoot it till over here, it's probably only about a foot and a half lead. And I'm saying this because this will get you close. I don't know how fast you're gonna swing, but that'll always get you close. Right. Okay? Yeah, you can adjust from there. You know, yeah. if you're, play, play with it. Some of the same thing on, on live birds too. Pull. Woo. Quick. Yeah. No. Quick. And All in this game too, you try not to try not to rush the first shot. You do have time to get get back on the second bird. Try more not than, to rush more than first you shot. think. Huh? More than you think. Yes. It's one of those cases of hurry up and take your time. Yeah. Pull. Nice swing through. You see, Todd shot and kept swinging. That's one of the biggest things you can do to miss a bird is as soon as you pull the trigger, stop your swing. You shoot behind it almost every time. Keep your swing going. Low house? Yes. Pull. Yeah. All right, excellent. That worked. Let's see if I can break the double. Yeah. Pull. Oh, gotcha. That low house bird's giving me fits. Yeah. Well, I'll get it. I'll get right it. Right to left and left to right. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You want to start out on this yeah, one? Yeah, I can do that. That's fine. Yeah. 